Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from experimentalhomesteader.com here. And we are at try number three because it seems that my microphone is not picking up sound and I'm not sure why. Uh, so let's hope it goes this time. Um, we're talking about food preservation methods today. And that includes canning, freezing, dehydrating, um, any method that you use to preserve food for future use. Okay, the three main ones that we're gonna cover is, of course, hi, Julie. Um, can you hear me okay? Is uh, the canning, the freezing, and the dehydrating, because those are the three methods that I use the most, and so the ones I'm most familiar with. I have used uh, some salt preservation before, but I don't use it a whole lot. And um, so I'm not quite as familiar with it. I have never preserved in oil. And hi, Julie. Um, glad, thanks for stopping in. Um, so the first one is canning, and that's probably the most used method of food preservation. Um, probably freezing is next, and then dehydrating. And so when you can, most people can in season, but that's not the only time that you can can. You could be canning food right now. Um, some condiments that you would use like uh, vinegar and your hot pepper flakes. Uh, I'm thinking of a particular sweet and sour Thai th sauce that I made and I'm not at home, so I can't give you that exact recipe. But that's something that you can can in your off season. And of course, canning really helps heat up your house so and adds humidity, which is a good thing in the winter time. Um, if you have put tomatoes and other frozen vegetables in your freezer, now is a good time to pull those out and turn them into things like ketchup, tomato sauce, um, soups, all of those kind of things. Clear up that room in your freezer so you have room come the gardening season to put more in and also that you so you can stock up on those late winter meat sales and stuff that go on at the grocery store and in the farmers market so go ahead and use those up uh, canning is going to preserve the life of those and if you don't have a way to can then dehydrate that stuff you can powder it all kinds of vegetables and tomatoes you can powder and you can put those in sauces soups uh, you can use them as flavoring on top of your food and if you have a family member that doesn't like to eat their vegetables the powdered vegetables is a great way to add that into the food i know it's not the same as eating fresh but it's better than nothing at all okay the other method is freezing and I'm sure we all know how to freeze food, but what I want to tell you is don't use storage bags. So many people think they can use a storage bag or just saran wrap and toss it right in the freezer, and that is incorrect. You need to use freezer bags. Um, I use both the Ziploc freezer bags because I have found that they don't come unsealed in my freezer. And I also have a uh, vacuum sealing machine. I have several of them. Uh, the Food Saver one is the one I use the mo most, but I do have a couple different brands. And so a lot of times I will vacuum seal my meat, my vegetables, whatever, to get that air out and give it a tighter seal. Even then, sometimes I will go ahead and put that vacuum sealed bag inside of a freezer bag just for extra safety, okay? Um, the other method is dehydration and if any of you guys have any comments or questions please leave those i am trying to keep an eye on chat um so dehydration is really simple you're going to need a dehydrator however if you don't have one you could use your oven um okay i hope to catch you later too julie i'll be on every night from sometime between five and seven or so that's the plan i hope you have a great night um Anyway, dehydration is really easy and it's a great way to preserve things like your herbs, your spices, um, banana chips, I turn some of those frozen, um, frozen fruits into uh, fruit leathers. Really easy, okay? Um, so lots of different methods and lots of different things that you can do and 
I really hope that you will try some of these. I do have a full video over on my YouTube page of food preservation methods, and it does show some of the different products that you might need, such as a pressure canner, a cold pack canner. Um, I did show my dehydrator, which is a lot larger than what you might need when you're just starting out, but I do a lot of food dehydration. Um, I did not show my freezer bags. Like I said, I use one of two um, and usually do end up going back to the Ziploc bags. Sometimes I will wrap like meat in saran wrap and then put it in a freezer bag if I want to keep it separated and I don't want it, you know, sticking together, freezing together. So that's a good thing to do. You could also vacuum seal individual items and put them in a freezer bag together as well. And something that I uh, have just recently been learning about, for those of you that do crock pot cooking or sous vide cooking, you can use the vacuum seal bags, put your meats and stuff in when you bring them home from the store, put your seasonings in, be sure to label them so you know what you have. And then you can throw that whole thing right in your crock pot or sous vide machine and just let it cook. Now, if you're using a crock pot, you need to make sure it's filled with water so the bag doesn't melt or anything like that. Um, I have a programmable crock pot and I use that for my sous vide machine because I don't have a regular sous vide machine. And I just fill it with water. I throw that vacuum sealed bag of meat with my spices right in and I let it cook. It's super easy. So um, I want to thank everybody that has stopped in. I am in a public place tonight, so I don't know how much background noise I'm picking up. And like I said, I will be on The Plan Is Nightly from 5 to 7. Um, I've left myself a two-hour time frame right now just because I'm trying to get used to the schedule and everything. So we're going to be talking about all kinds of homestead topics, gardening, seed starting, the whole thing. And I always welcome questions. If there's a topic you'd like to see, feel free to send me a tweet. Um, I do keep an eye on those. So again, thanks for watching and have a great night, everybody. I really appreciate you being here.